Thanks for the time. If you could just start us off uh, with your initial thoughts on the 3-0 victory. Uh, important victory in front of our fans. Uh, a very well played game uh, against a rival that uh, in a different uh, time has gave us uh, a lot of trouble to break their lines and today we find our ways to impose our rhythm and score goals. I saw a very offensive uh, team, ours. I saw a team with confidence. I think we're yelling and preparing. Most important is that we keep our feet on the ground, understanding that uh, we have to continue with consistency. But uh, but well, well played the game. In the first half, uh, I saw um, how we took advantages of the spaces that they gave us in the wing. We were the crafty in the middle, but the most important that we keep our balance defensively. And second half, uh, it, it seems like uh, the, the 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 game plan and the boys was executing it continued to give us uh, better results, especially when we attacked their backs. So good, uh, good night. But now preparing for Nashville this this week, so we can finish the season strong. What else? Oscar, uh, you head into the locker room, one nothing up, but then two goals in the first 15 minutes. I think this team has scored 16 goals this season in the first 15 minutes of the second half. What has been the, the contributing factor to that from your perspective that coming out of the locker room, this team has been so potent offensively? Well, it's, a, it's a good news for us, uh, especially if uh, our players keep that uh, mentality of uh, going forward and, and uh, define the games in the key moments. I thought we could uh, um, extend our uh, leading in the first half, but sometimes the game just become like that and, and has happened before. Right? If we're not lethal, uh, sometimes we would just give him a second air to the other teams, but it did not happen. So I'm glad that we are having those responses. Um, we give us the sense that uh, or the feeling that we are getting more mature as a group. Michael. Oscar, thanks for your time. Um, Hoffa and Dagger uh, were able to get into those wide areas uh, in the corners behind their uh, outside their three-man back line, and it it made a big difference in this game. Was that part of the game plan going in? And, and what are your thoughts on the way that they were able to to provide for the offense tonight? Um, yeah, two, sp two players who are embracing a lot their positioning. Uh, Rafa understanding much more and much better the league. And that quality of the wingers and how the m m majority of uh, Major League Soccer teams attack those uh, flanks, I think he's uh, been um, much better and, and he's growing a lot. I'm, I'm very happy for, for Rafa. And Dagur is, uh, uh, for us, in a fantastic news on seeing how he progressed on understanding the game, adapting his quality, his technical ability to what we need and improving as well uh, this defensive concepts that the position require. So uh, he's very aware of what he needs to get better. And, and when he does those defensive actions that good, his confidence just keep going higher because with the ball, he's very clever. And um, so both of them help us a lot today. Thank you, Lucas. Profe, te, te quería preguntar un, un dato interesante, bueno, unos dos datos interesantes de, después de este resultado. Eh, bueno, eh, 54 puntos eh, ya en la tabla, lo más que este equipo ha podido a, acumular en una temporada solamente, y 15 victorias también. Eh, obviamente una pregunta bien repetitiva, pero... El, el, sabiendo la temporada que han tenido ustedes, eh, si hay algo nuevo sobre la renovación y... Y si, si esa, ese tema de la renovación, si es algo que lo ocupa la mente en estos últimos tres partidos de la, de la temporada. Y eso solamente, gracias. Bueno, gracias. Sí, vos es una pregunta compleja porque pues no tengo una respuesta. Lo único que quería, que me gustaría decirte es que toda mi cabeza está puesta en hacer todo lo mejor que podamos con este grupo. Darle un título a Orlando, 
y, y seguir con estas químicas que hemos creado y el desarrollo del club. Tengo un gran respeto por la familia Wilfs que nos ha apoyado tremendamente y mm, me siento muy feliz por la, por la gente, por, por, por el grupo, por la hinchada, por, porque somos una familia muy grande. Yo pienso que va a pasar lo que Dios quiera y ahora pues estamos todos con un objetivo que es apuntarle a la final. Going the back to Luis Carlos. Hi, uh, Profe, uh, congrats on the win. Uh, last game against Miami, uh, you sub Martin for Cesar to give the team more depth in, in attack. But today you kept both your double pivots, Wilder and also um, uh, Cesar the whole 90, and the team responded well with two goals in the second half. Was something said on the half? Uh, why did you make that decision to keep them both? Well, uh, I think I guess my, uh, Miami, when I came back to the locker room, I saw uh, us dominating the game uh, tremendously, but I didn't see any action from Miami. So um, we took uh, Cesar off and uh, we we brought um, Mauricio in that position and we had another striker. And uh, not a midfielder, but a striker. So we wanted to... Um, increase our possibilities to score, knowing that we may risk a little bit of our balance. On, and I think the game allows us to do it. Um, sometimes things work well, sometimes not, but that worked. And today I saw that uh, what the team needed is balance all the time, all, all the way, because they have, they, I knew that they have players in the bench that can come and just try to get in our back. So I didn't want to move our pivots and just keep them organized and instead just bring somebody in the middle who can fulfill what Mauro does without losing our possibilities to go forward. So that was our process, our thoughts in that moment. Go in the middle to Gustavo. Hey coach, congrats on the win today. Um, like was already mentioned, you guys are a stronger team than you were in last season when you won the Open Cup. Can you talk to me a, a little bit about the young guys like Duncan and Ramiro that have contributed to the growth of the club this season? Um, I am very proud of them. I think they have been growing along the season. Uh, their commitment first is uh, uh, incredible. Uh, young players that are absorbing the information. <coughs> Excuse me. and. Just proved that uh, Orlando has a bright future with uh, these young guys uh, that have a lot of games already, and um, and surely we feel like uh, we're yelling much much more, and we feel that we're a better team. Uh, responsibility is extended as well, so hopefully we can keep going in that direction. But the youngsters are doing very good, and I like for them. Uh, Profe, eh, solo quedan ya tres partidos en la temporada. Eh, te quería preguntar un poco cómo, cómo se planea manejar estos partidos, ya que el primer lugar ya eh, Cincinnati lo aseguró con un resultado en Toronto, pero uh -huh. para el equipo, para asegurar ese segundo puesto, eh, cómo, cómo se maneja estos próximos tres partidos, bueno, los últimos tres partidos de la temporada regular. Sí, bueno, mira, yo, yo creo que hay que seguir nuestro ritmo. Es muy difícil... Eh, tratar uno de rotar o de escoger o seleccionar partidos a estas alturas, sabiendo que tienen una implicación tan importante en los playoffs, nuestra posición. Eh, estamos muy conscientes de qué significa clasificar segundos, terceros, cuartos o no. Y los muchachos. Yo les he dicho todo el tiempo, acá no vamos a parar, acá vamos a seguir, acá no, no, no tenemos tiempo de recuperarnos eh, como quisiéramos, hay que hacer el esfuerzo, esperar la fecha FIFA para parar, entonces creo que la respuesta es tratar de ir a ganar en Nashville eh, y jugarnos en una posición importante con New England acá. Eso es como lo que en este momento estamos planificando. So our planning towards uh, these three final games is just obviously get the most points we can because of the importance of the playoffs uh, uh, 
is 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 relate to those positioning so there is no time to rest there is no time to um think about nothing but just Nashville try to get those points and then play almost a, a playoff game already with New England here on next Sunday on the back to Alonso Profe ¿cómo está? Felicidades por la victoria eh, y bueno cada temporada usted uh, rompe un récord ¿no? llevar una final la US Open Cup playoff ahora lo, el mayor puntaje pero un poco profundizando lo que dice Mike uh, ¿cómo enfocarse sabiendo de que eh, usted no ha renovado y también 12 jugadores todavía están eh, sabiendo si su futuro es en Orlando o no ¿cómo, cómo llevar, a, cómo llevar eh, a este equipo a seguir triunfando? y bueno y, y si ha conversado algo usted con su cuerpo técnico de que vamos a esperar hasta este punto para ver si, si nos quedamos en próxima temporada o no Sí, bueno le decía a Mikey que, que a estas alturas pues como que la mente de uno está exclusivamente direccionada a la competencia, a hacer todo lo que mejor podamos con Orlando. Yo me siento tan orgulloso de esos jugadores que yo no he escuchado a ninguno que me mencione eso y eso me hace sentir muy feliz por ellos, ¿cierto? Más sin embargo, sabemos que detrás de esto pues también hay un futuro en el que hay que pensarlo, pero confiamos mucho en nuestros dueños y confiamos mucho en la gente que tiene las direcciones y ellos saben tomar sus decisiones, no necesariamente quiero decir que son para conveniencia de uno, sino que es para conveniencia del club y eh, estamos es como solo mentalizados en, el, en, en, el, en los juegos, en los partidos, todos, pero Oscar. gracias por la pregunta. Oscar, uh, this one was a, a big one in terms of the uh, the playoff race with the Eastern Conference, but also for your team specifically, uh, 15 wins is the most this team has ever had, 54 points the most team this, this team has ever had. Um, to be able to do it with this group um, and th these players, what does it mean to you to, to be able to be trendsetters for this Orlando City team? Well, it made me feel uh, very proud of the whole organization. Uh, uh, ownership that has given us this opportunity, the directors and the club that has pushed this much and had patience with us when the things didn't bounce in our way. Everybody was just pushing and, and, and quietly we just get back to our best form. Uh, to the players that are understanding that this is not a, not a stop game, it's not a stop uh, uh, moment. And, and uh, that we are proud to belong to this organization and our fans have ch should be uh, sure that we're we're going to do the best we can to put this team in a MLS Cup final and win it. I think we can do it. We will wrap up with Marco. ¿Qué tal, profesor? Buenas noches, Marco Quesada para Gerardo Herrera de Costa Rica. Con lo que hablaba Mike y, y Alonso también, Eh, con respecto a la renovación, ¿hay algo, ¿podría haber algún interés por parte de un Oscar Pareja para dirigir alguna selección nacional? ¿Está dentro de sus, de sus proyectos, dentro de sus sueños, una selección nacional, un mundial? Le digo porque Costa Rica está en busca de, de seleccionador nacional. Eh, la, hay nombres en la palestra, pero todavía está la opción para, para presentar este, estos eh, currículums. Bueno, pues eh, es eh, solo el solo eh, visualizar una situación como esa para cualquier entrenador en el mundo pues sería maravilloso eh, lógico que nosotros pues nos debemos a, a nuestro a nuestros clubes y yo tengo un alto respeto por la dirección de este club y pero tampoco tendría que escaparme a la respuesta y decirte que eso para para cualquier entrenador del mundo sería un no, no. Uh, we've been talking a little bit about the, that, that the right and the left back come to that position and and on the far post uh, and uh, that time it happened so and the ball came and, and I scored. <laughs> how, how have you kind of been approaching this? Obviously the, the whole right back project was rather new to you and it looks like you're finally starting to mature in that position. Uh, how have you kind of seen yourself kind of grow? especially at this point of the season? Uh, I feel like last couple, I would say like two or three games, 
it's starting to click, like you said. Uh, the Miami game was good, and of course, the New York game wasn't the best, but I feel like the last couple of three, four, five games, I've been trying to understand also the defensive part. That's the thing that I've been struggling a little bit with. Uh, but that's getting better and better, and as soon as I get better there, the attacking part I'm quite used to, so it's all clicking. Do you usually watch film of yourself of past games, or do you watch other players, perhaps more experienced players in that position, where you can kind of just study off of the, the, the tactical awareness that kind of comes with that position? Yeah, I uh, <laughs> I watched a little bit of Phil Blum, uh, just because uh, he was similar to mine, a little bit small, good technically. Uh, Joshua Kimmich I watched, but he's playing in the midfield now. Uh, and then, of course, I just studied myself. But uh, I like to watch. I don't know why, but uh, I like to watch Philip Blum. Doug, you were able to get, you and Hoffa both able to get into the flanks tonight uh, wide of the three-man back line. Was that something that you guys had targeted coming, coming into the game, or was it something that just presented itself during the match? Yeah, we knew that they were playing with uh, three in the back. Uh, and uh, the goal was to keep me and, and Rafa high and in, in these spaces that we can create in that uh, when they play with the three, and uh, it worked today, so that was amazing. Derek, this team has had a tendency to score very early in the second half of games. 16 goals is the most in MLS in that 15 minute period. From your perspective, what has been the, the catalyst, the thing that's been working the most in that early part of the second half where you've been able to score all these goals? Um, I don't know. It's just usually we, we talk a lot, of course, the players together and, and about what needs to improve. and. I would say usually it's the aggressive and when we come in and everybody talk together and then usually I feel like the first 15 minutes the aggressiveness comes and with aggressiveness and like you say like finishing the, the run on the far post like I did and and Ivan Cho and, and Faku so it's it, it happens so that's good. You guys are going into another pretty much busy week because you have a game on Wednesday then a game on Saturday yep. but I, I wanted to ask you this is your first season in, in, in MLS but you guys, you guys played a lot of games this year. Obviously, you start with Conca Champions, the Open Cup, the Leagues Cup, back to the regular season. How, how are you guys right now, physically, mentally, right now at this point of the season? For me, I love it. I, I love to play every three, four days. Uh, <laughs> then I feel the best in my body. At, that's just how I work. I don't know why, but uh, people talk about that players need break. Or, but for me, when you're playing every three or four days, you're just training basically very easy trainings and just going straight to games. So for me, that's perfect, and I did it last year with my team in Iceland. We played in the Europa Conference League, and we were playing every three or four days, and that's when I feel perfect. There, you guys got a big win on Hispanic Heritage Night. Right? We all heard the reggaeton music coming out of the locker room. There's a big Hispanic community in this city. Have you had a chance to immer immerse yourself in any uh, Latin culture? Yeah, you can say that. Uh, <laughs> I tried to I tried to study it, but it didn't work so good. But uh, I don't know. You pick up a lot of stuff. Like derecha, izquierda, just the solo, and it's you hear the Spanish every day, so hopefully you pick up at least something. Is there a food you like? Spanish food? I think that I'll try it at least. I'm just very basic. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're obviously a very big win here at home. Um, just talk about the uh, the general kind of from start to finish uh, dominance of, of this team, uh, especially here at home. Obviamente un partido y una victoria importante acá en casa. Se puede describir desde la empieza hasta hasta el fin del partido la importancia de, de esta victoria en este punto de la temporada. Eh, sí, creo que una linda victoria. Creo que dominamos todo el partido. Fuimos muy intensos contra contra un rival que por ahí eh, sintió el dominio del equipo. Generamos muchos espacios y bueno. Gracias a Dios pudimos aprovecharlo y nos llevamos una, una victoria contundente que, que nos sigue colocando bien en la parte de arriba y, y nos da una alegría a todo el club, a todos los fans ¿no? que, que siempre vienen a apoyarnos. Sí, creo que, como dijiste, fue una victoria importante, especialmente en este momento de la temporada. Nos fuimos contra un buen rival para ser tan intensos como pudimos y nos dominamos durante todo el juego. Como la forma que jugaron, tuvimos algunos espacios de que queríamos trabajar en ellos y eso es cómo nos aproximamos al juego. Y gracias a Dios nos encontramos ahora en la parte más alta de la mesa, donde queremos ponernos para este club y para todos los fans. Ah, bueno, por ejemplo, la victoria y sus estadísticas hablan mucho. Inclusive antes del juego sacaron que más pases y todo. Y este partido, 
completado 59 pases, 18 de esos han sido en el último tercio del campo, ha, ha sido el, también has, has tenido uh, centros. ¿Cómo te sientes en tu trabajo? que está siendo una pieza fundamental en el esquema de Forzajar para eso? Eh, sí, bueno, las estadísticas siempre son importantes, pero me siento bien. Creo que el profe a mí, a César, nos da un rol muy importante del equipo. Nos, nos tiene siempre apretados a los dos, como que nos tiene cortitos. Y bueno, creo que el trabajo mío y de César ayuda mucho al equipo y esperemos continuar así, ¿no? más allá de las estadísticas que son buenas. Lo importante es que el equipo juegue bien y, y que podamos ganar la mayor, la mayor cantidad de puntos. Yeah, I think, uh, like you said, the uh, stats stats are always important, but you know, I think I'm happy that uh, Oscar is happy with uh, with the job that I've done uh, between me and Cesar. He places an important role on on us and the way that uh, the team functions when when we're out there on the field. And so, I think uh, between the two of us, we always hope to to put in the best performance possible. Obviously, it's good if the the stats keep coming like that, but uh, I think the most important thing is. Uh, the, the team wins and we continue to put ourselves higher up on the table. Wilder, well, it's been uh, a few games since you were able, you guys were able to get a goal in the first half. Uh, how much confidence was it, did it present to you guys to, to go to the locker room with the half, uh, halftime lead for a change? Well, there are some partidos from the team that was marked in the first time. How was it to mark in the first time and enter the rest with a goal? Yes, I think teníamos que, que llevar el dominio a, a marcar, ¿no? Creo que como a mí nos pasó que también estábamos dominando y no nos fuimos al, al descanso empatando y bueno, ellos agarraron confianza. Creo que este caso no teníamos que, que llegar a eso. Gracias a Dios Facu encontró una buena pelota ahí, pudo abrir el marcador. Creo que a partir de eso ya los espacios se, se nos dieron por todos los movimientos que, que hacemos y bueno, el partido ya se dio como ustedes vieron, un, con amplio dominio pero con mucha contundencia, que es lo importante. Yeah, I think uh, you know we we wanted to to approach this game and we had to approach this with uh, with some dominance, right? To be able to go into the to the half with a lead against Miami and in the in the previous games we weren't able to score in the first half, and so you go in you go in tied into the into the halftime break, and that that affects your confidence for the rest of the game, right? But uh, being able to score uh, in the first half, thankfully Faku found found a great ball and was able to to put it in the back of the net uh, and it gave us confidence for the rest of the game and I think uh, like you saw you know between the spaces and the runs that we were able to make uh, we, we really dominated like you saw in that game so I think uh, that's that's what we want to continue to do. Hay una, hay una buena conexión entre los laterales, obviamente el medio del campo, eh, hoy día con Rafa y Dabu, eh, ¿cómo se comunican? Porque Rafa es portugués, Dabu es en, en inglés, eh, ¿cómo? porque hoy día todo le salió. Sí, bueno, la comunicación, bueno, ya es parte, ¿no? Ya nos conocemos mucho. Daul este, estuvo un tiempo estudiando español, sabe algunas palabras ahí, pero igual, ¿no? Creo que nos miramos mucho con Rafa, sí, por ahí yo puedo hablar un poco de portugués, por, sé un poco y podemos comunicarnos bien. Creo que, aparte de eso, que, bueno, ya jugamos con la mirada, no sabemos los movimientos que tenemos que hacer, con César ni que hablar, ya es prácticamente de memoria, casi ni nos hablamos. Y eso es bueno, no creo que las conexiones que, que el equipo este, se están dando es muy buena y esperemos que continuar así porque se ve muy bien, ¿no? se ve un equipo muy responsable y muy compacto. Sí, la comunicación es siempre algo interesante, ¿verdad? Porque tienes a Dogger que habla inglés y ha estado estudiando un poco de español, así que estamos able to, to communicate with a few words there and Rafael obviously speaks Portuguese um, but you know you you play with what you see we we know the runs that they're going to make we have those connections so it's it's easier we don't have to communicate verbally as much I mean with Cesar it's it's pretty much by memory we we almost don't even have to speak we know where each other's going to be uh, but we at this point in the season we just have those connections and we kind of have that sense of where where everybody is going to be in the runs that they're going to make, so we're just going to keep doing that and keep playing to the best of our abilities. Winter, te quería preguntar si, si, si se discutió algo en el descanso sobre cómo acercar ese segundo tiempo, porque obviamente dominaron el partido, pero lo que marcó la diferencia en el segundo tiempo, que el primer tiempo fue que el equipo pudo definir un poco más las oportunidades. No sé si el profe relató algo a los jugadores para que entren un poco eh, o que acerquen ese segundo tiempo con un poco más claramente cómo van a definir estas jugadas? Eh, no, creo que el primer tiempo entramos muy tranquilo porque que el equipo estaba muy bien, encontramos un gol, creo que siempre hice al descanso con, con una ventaja es importante, lo único que hablamos era que no podíamos bajar, que teníamos que, que hacer el segundo gol porque si no se nos iba a complicar, hay varios partidos que, que no ha pasado eso y bueno, pudo llegar el segundo gol y ahí el tercero y bueno, después 
creo que, que también tuvimos oportunidades, controlamos el partido y creo que nos llevamos una linda victoria. Yeah, you know, I think uh, we we went into the halftime break calm, right? You know, we were able to find that goal, uh, and then during during halftime, there wasn't really any discussion about uh, oh, we've got to we've got to keep going. We can't we can't let down because you know sometimes uh, sometimes you're gonna find that goal, sometimes you won't. We've had a couple of games like that this year, but we knew that we had good opportunities and that uh, the work we were doing was was starting to find itself. And in the second half, like you saw, we were able to find that second, and then thankfully we were able to find a third. But I don't think there was any doubt uh, about continuing to push. Speaking of the second half and those goals coming in the first 15 minutes, this team has been the, one of the best in MLS in terms of scoring in the final 15 or the first 15 minutes of the second half. What has been the kind of key contributing factor to having that success in so many games uh, and to be able to score as many goals as you have early on in the second coming out of the locker? Hablando de los goles en el segundo tiempo, este equipo es uno de los mejores uno de los mejores equipos en, en toda la liga, marcar en los primeros 15 minutos de, de segundo tiempo, ¿qué, qué es la, la clave para, para marcar casi inmediatamente después del descanso para este equipo? Ah, no sé, creo, creo que por ahí puede ser alguna apretada que nos mete el profe, pero no, este equipo, este equipo es muy, como te digo, es muy responsable, trabajamos mucho durante la semana, temas de movimientos y todo eso, y creo que que creamos mucho, ¿no? A veces por ahí no estamos finos, pero creo que siempre tenemos chances de hacer gol y a veces, no sé, capaz en el segundo tiempo <ríe> que tenemos un poco más de espacio. Más allá, creo que cuando ha sido visitante también hemos hecho muchos goles de, en el segundo tiempo, bueno, en el primer tiempo también, pero bueno, creo que lo importante es marcar, ¿no? Creo que cuando este equipo hace el primer gol, agarra confianza y después es muy difícil que, que nos den vuelta los partidos. Yeah, you know, I'm, uh, you know, I'm not really sure. Maybe it's, uh, it's probably something that Oscar's got going right now. But uh, I think in terms of uh, being able to score, it's, it's just the, the spaces that we have in the, in the second half and continuing to press. And you know, obviously, when we see it when we, uh, when we go on the road, when we've got that extra space, we, we find it a little bit easier to, to score. But I think it's when, when this team scores the first goal, it's very difficult to, to keep us off the scoreboard because we continue to press, our confidence continues to grow, and, and we just find ourselves scoring more and more. Eh, sí, este, bueno, hoy, hoy creo que es disfrutar la victoria, ¿no? creo que hicimos un, un partido lindo, pero sí, igual, creo que el miércoles va a ser un partido muy difícil, Nashville creo que desde que estoy acá es el equipo que más, más nos ha complicado a nosotros, por, sobre todo por, por el jugador que, que mencionas tú, es un jugador muy, muy importante para ellos, muy desequilibrante, pero bueno, creo que vamos a llegar de la mejor manera, con mucha confianza y esperemos arrancar los tres puntos de allá como para, para ir asegurando el segundo lugar, que creo que va a ser muy importante para nosotros. ¿eh? Yeah, you know, like, uh, you know, I think today it's it's trying to enjoy the victory that we had today. We played a great game, but all the same, we've got another important game on Wednesday. And, uh, uh, you know, from from at least since I've been here, I've seen that they've been uh, one of the most complicated uh, teams for us to play against uh, in in the league. And uh, in those small parts of the player that you mentioned, Hani Mukhtar is a, a great player overall, and he's a great player for them and their system. Uh, But for us, we're just going to approach the game with uh, in the best way that we possibly can, with a lot of confidence, and try to take the three points and put ourselves in the best position on the table.